Hi all, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are enjoying the Playwright series and if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button. So today in this video we will be covering how to click, uh, how to do perform double click using Playwright. So let me show the website in which we will be doing this operation. So this is the uh, URL api.jquery.com slash dbclick slash so if you just scroll down here you can see a box colored blue now if I just double click on it it becomes yellow right so this operation we need to perform now let's see how we can do that so let me just refresh once again and let me inspect the uh, box and let get the locator so as I can see this is coming under iframe so first we need to handle this iframe and from there we need to uh, come here to this element so let's first uh, get this element so this is I think body and this is the div tag so this is the one we have to click on it right and uh, let's do that so just uh, let me get this text and let me write like span text equals to this one so we got this span element right now we have to go to the parent so that is the body so you can write slash parent uh, parent colon 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 body so we have reached to the body now we have to give another slash to reach to div right so this is the div tag we are getting so this is quite robust locator and we can take it so let me go to the PyCharm we have not created any file so let's quickly create a one uh, test file so let's, let's name it as test uh, double click or db click dot pi we do not have to give pi dot pi so just enter it and add it right so and take uh, this part from here and paste it now let's rename it with test uh, double click right now let me copy the URL and paste it here next we have reached to the URL so this page is loaded now we have to cl double click on it right so first let's get the locator so we can write right uh, the box color box anything is fine color box uh, page dot locator that is uh, the locator we have created here this one but before that we have to also use the frame so frame I think we can use frame let me check the frame is there any frame ID or frame name available uh, I cannot see anything so width and height is only available but there is no frame ID so why what we can do we can just directly uh, let me just do one thing let me just keep iframe okay so it's highlighting just one iframe right so we can use it uh, frame locator and there we can give this one uh, no not this one double slash iframe and then from there we can click dot locator right so this is fine now up to this we have understood what to how to clear this locator color box now we have to perform the double click operation so color box dot db click that's it let's see whether we are able to um, I mean if this thing is correctly working or not so I can just pytest minus s dash dash headed and it's under miscellaneous so miscellaneous slash taste db click run it okay it would be very quick so we will not be able to see it so we have to give some slow motion so let it run first okay as you can see we could not see anything right so what we can do we can give one slow motion uh, four seconds four seconds okay Okay, it's loaded and let's see whether it's crawled down to the end. 
yeah it scroll down and you can see it quickly uh, clicked on it and so we cannot see whether it was first uh, like blue color and then it got changed to yellow uh, so we could not verify that manually i mean visually you cannot see it right so let's see that for let's give some weight so we can do something here uh, it's actually scrolling to that page and it's very quickly doing doing it um, anyhow we can give some weight as well so page dot uh, wait for timeout and let's give you timeout of two seconds and then it's performing the double click so what we can do uh, we can manually scroll down okay so let's give a wait for let's say seven seconds uh, wait for timeout it's taking I think millisecond yeah so let's run it now so yes and let's scroll down so you can see it is blue now let's see whether it changed to yellow or not yep it got changed to yellow that means double click operation was performed correctly right now let's see whether we can verify anything or I mean if there is any assertion we can add uh, okay so you can see if I double click on it you can see there is a class coming right so okay so we can do one thing here uh, so we can uh, perform one validation uh, with expect I think so what we can do let me remove this weight part and let's remove this space as well and here after double click on it let's give it expect expect uh, let me get this div tag we are already on the div tag so this color box is the div tag so we can write expect color box dot uh, to have class I think yeah to have class to have class name as uh, dbl right so we can write it dbl that's it so before when it is in the refresh state I mean in the default state right in that case you cannot see any uh, class right so there is just divs and div closing div so if I double click on it you can see there is a class gets appended okay so this is coming now so dbl so now we can validate easily using this to have class and we can pass the class name or what about the class right so let's run it now and let's see whether it's working correctly or the session is passing or not so as you can see it's double click on it and it passed so the session is properly working so um, if it was not double clicked then this assertion should be filled so let me do that as well so now it should fail because it is not doing the double click operation and this time it should fail right assertion error locator expected to have a class called dbl and it's not getting it so that is why it's failing okay so we can just change it back and uh, we can run or not I mean we find it's fine already it will run it so we know it will pass if we just uh, execute it so the topic of this video was like how to perform double click operation but as a bonus we learned how to use another a new assertion that is called to have text right to have class so I will put it here uh, so how to uh, okay use uh, assertion or something not this one uh, let me add from the notepad copy it here so we also learned a new assertion so um, how to use expect to have body okay how to use uh, x session to have class actions so this is fine so how to use this expect dot to have class so as debil so we have learned about you so I'm just putting it here as a note uh, okay so I hope 
you like the video and uh, please uh, do subscribe so see you in the next video